So yeah, we're talking yeah, about E-Sims. eSims today with Digicel and um well we both did TikTok videos um with the Digicel drama. Well no the eSIM drama for the iPhone, right? Um the iPhone 14 came along the way and people mm-hmm. were well they didn't every, not everybody knew about eSIMs. The major thing about it was that you know Apple was releasing an eSIM only iPhone 14 in the US market. And for most of us here in China, that's where we get our phones, whether when we visit or family members send even some local businesses, I think, purchase their phones from the US. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. And East with eSIMs not being supported, those phones phones bought in the US would not have worked. And even, let's say a local business would have purchased it from an international market, chances are those phones would have been more expensive because of all the, the shipping logistics to get it to China. Yeah, it's easier exactly. to ship from the US than from Canada or, you know, other UK, the UK market, perhaps, you know, so. For real, for real. I think, did you, um, sell, did yeah. you sell what, um, did you sell the first out of the gate with official information? And, well, before we jump into this site here, uh, before, when we when we were talking pre-show, we we're talking about the fact that this was kind of under the radar because normally these things I would hear about or I would see or somebody would have sent it to me or some kind of thing like that. And it's only yeah. after you tell me that this evening I realize yeah. it now we two days late because yeah, according yeah, to the yeah. article, they said it will be available from the twenty Which was Friday. Yeah, uh, ESIM Solo Fish will be launched on the twenty fifth of November twenty twenty two. Wait. You actually make it to the end of this video? That means you probably might like the podcast that we have. Check the link in my bio and you'll get a link to download the podcast and listen to it whenever you get a chance. Or you can see the clips on YouTube and TikTok and re- and see if you actually want to listen to more. Because sometimes we talk a little bit of sense about technology. Sometimes. <laughs> 